In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the language modeling framework LangChain to feed personalized lines, paragraphs, or entire emails to the cold email platform Lemlist. There is an inherent conflict between personalization and automation. Generic emails that are non-personalized are easy to automate, but are usually associated with low engagement and conversion rates. On the other hand, emails that are highly personalized lead to higher engagement, but are hard to automate. Lemlist helps you solve this problem using a template system that makes emails feel personalized while still being automated. An email template contains placeholders that allows users to paste in personalized lines and paragraphs. Some templates are basic, while others are advanced. This template system helps companies operate on the efficient frontier when it comes to trading off personalization with automation. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use LangChain and GPT-4 to move this frontier and achieve a higher level of both personalization and automation. We're going to utilize two out-of-the-box LangChain integrations. The first integration we're going to use is the Appify LangChain integration that allows us to extract context for personalization from external web pages, Twitter, or LinkedIn. The second integration we're going to use is the LangChain OpenAI integration that allows us to have GPT-4 use the extracted context to formulate an email. The output from LangChain can then be directly imported into Lemlist. All right, to do this, we're going to need two API keys. Let's start with Abify, which is the web scraping platform. Sign up for a free account or log in and then go to console. Once you're in the console, you can see the different actors the types of scrapers, and we're going to be using the website content crawler. And this is just to show you the platform. We're actually not going to run it from in here, even though you could. Uh, we're going to run it from LangChain from a notebook. There are some settings in here that you can also control from the notebook. We're going to do that in a bit. But what you need to do is you need to get the API key. And the API key is located in settings. And once you have the API key pasted somewhere safe, we're going to put it in an environment file with the OpenAI API key. To get your OpenAI API key, you go to platform.openai.com, and then you go to the top right and you click View API Keys. And of course, you need to be signed up to be able to use the service. So we place the API keys in a .env file, and this allows us to load the environment variables in a Jupyter notebook. And I'm going to put a link to the notebook below this video. To load the API keys from the environment file, we're going to use find.env and load.env. Then we're going to import document from LangChain document loader space, and we're going to import the Appify wrapper from LangChain utilities. And this allows us to use the Appify crawlers directly through LangChain. The configuration of the crawler is done in a dictionary, and we're going to call that crawl input. I'm going to be extracting content from my own webpage, rabbitmetrics.com. And for my web page, I'm going to set the HTML transformer to be extractors and the crawler type to be Cheerio. So this is what my main web page looks like. There is some information about the service I provide to e-commerce businesses, which is data analytics services. There's some information about me and some more detail further down the page. So actually quite a lot of content we can extract. So I'm going to use the crawl input and execute the crawler to extract the content from my web page. And the output here is going to be a list of documents that we can feed to the language model. So there's only one page we're extracting content from. So there's going to be one document in the list with all the text from my main web page. So if you want to put this into Victor storage, you want to slice up this document, but we are not going to do that here. Next, I'm going to import chat open AI. I'm going to import load QA chain, and I'm going to instantiate GPT-4 and I'm going to define the QA chain based on the language model, and I'm going to choose chain type stuff. And then I'm going to formulate my query to GPT-4. So when someone sends me a cold email, it's usually lead generation for my agency. So I'm going to ask GPT-4 to formulate a short five to eight line email to me, pitching lead generation, and the email should make a reference to my work online and give me a compliment. And now we can have GPT-4 access the information we just pulled from the web page with Appify and formulate a personalized email referencing my work. And here we go. Here's the email. Boost your agency's growth with our proven lead generation strategy. And as you can see, the email is actually referencing my work on my web page. 
And you can have Appify pull information from LinkedIn or Twitter or wherever and personalize emails in this way. And of course, you can play around with the prompt to the chat model and customize the personalization to your particular use case. So a perfect complement to Lemlist because this allows us to feed this text directly with the leads into the system. So if we take a look at the Lemlist API documentation, we can go to campaigns, then click add lead in a campaign. You can see that the API allows you to send what they call an icebreaker. And this is just a personalized paragraph that could be generated by Langchain. So it's possible to build fully automated personalization systems like this. And you can even leave out Lemlist if you want to use something else. All right, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.